Okay, today we're going to unbox the BioNO Power foldable solar panel. And 28 watts, four panels, one, two, three, four, 28 watts max power. Okay, so there's some instructions back here. Um, I'm not sure yet if it has a charge controller in, inside of it. It says here charge USB directly from the solar panel. Okay, so let's open this up and find out what is in it. First time opening. Okay, nice wrapping here. Okay, it seems pretty seems pretty tough. This is, uh, you know what would be cool is if this was waterproof. That is a tall order though, so I'm pretty sure it is not. It does not say that it is. What do we get in here? Okay, these look like they're permanently, these are permanently attached. It doesn't look like you can undo that, which is actually good because then you won't have to worry about losing it. Um, some instructions here says USB you can charge USB device right there output and then chain the chain is for if you want to chain multiple of these together you can attach them one to, the, to another and get more more from it okay I kind of like that reflective stuff right there that's kind of neat it looks really well built good design it's light uh, I'll post how much it weighs in the description when I figure that out so the um, first thing I wonder is how do you fold it? How do you fold it? Well, does that go on the outside? Yeah, that goes on the outside, I think. So this is what it would be like. Fold it up, and then you could put things in here, um, connectors and things like that like a bag on the outside really so maybe I could try connecting something up to this my first question is how am I going to do power poles from here USB and I've got output but how do I do I want to connect something to a power pole okay so I'm looking at this and the output comes in this form right here which is which is needs to be converted if you were to use this to go to a uh, power pole or something else it will work I think it's designed to go with BioNO Power's batteries as they are so if I have an input here on the power pack 120W the solar panel will go into here nicely and I will use this to charge up in there this has also another USB so the question is I want to go from here to a charge controller and or that way I can uh, charge any kind of battery so I don't have a universal thing if you knew the size of this you could find an adapter and then convert it like I did here with my Elecraft this goes into my Elecraft and then this was converted to power pole um, I'd want to do that here or you could use their products and go directly into them oh I see I get it. This is this is very they're very well designed for the BioLeno product products. So here I've got my giant uh, battery here from BioLeno also, and all of their batteries come with this little adapter, which I already have. So this this will work very well with with the the batteries that come with it. Okay, so it looks like it's well designed for their products, and you would need to make a converter for uh, your own. And then this ties up here nicely. This actually, this actually goes to my other bio. Okay, let's take this outside and give it a try. Right now we're getting uh, partly cloudy skies, and let's see if we can charge some something up, man. Okay, so the test today will be: can I charge a? Can I charge a? Their their power pack 
and my cell phone and a regular battery, bio battery. Can I charge them using solar panel, solar power? First off, I'm thinking, the first thing I'm thinking is I wish I had an extension cord. Uh, that way I could position this in the sun better. All right, where's my, okay, check that out. The light's on already. Sun is kind of that way, not ideal. All right, this is probably three feet long. Three feet. Let's let's go ahead and plug it right into here, okay? And let's see what we know. What do we know about that? Well, we know it's charging. The question is, what if I overcharge it? Is there a charge controller in here? I don't think so. I'm a little worried that I'm going to overcharge it. Let me flip this around. The question is, how do I charge control that so it doesn't overcharge? So I'm going to try charging this battery. And maybe it'll give me some indication of what's going on. Input. Now I know when you charge this on, off the wall, if you turn it on, it gives you some indication if it's charging or not. You can see that little light right there. And then it stops. So this is charging. And this device will probably tell you whether or not it's it's full. Now, the next thing is we do have hooks. These little circles here would hook. I would hang it like that somehow with carabiners. That's probably the best way to do it. But I don't have them with me right now, so I'm just gonna leave it like that. And now that says fully charged right now, which I already knew it was because I charge it from the wall. I'm going to try charging my cell phone using sunlight. Okay, here I plug in USB. Here I plug in my phone. And I can see it is charging. I've got the little lightning symbol up there. Yep, so it is charging. All right, the next test is it is not going to be very scientific. I do not have this. Probably if I was going to do this right, I would I would need to spend a lot of time to set this up just right so it's pointed, or it's, it's um, perpendicular to the sun. Can I get a reading? Basic reading, this is just flat on a surface, the sun is that way. All I care about is just, just a rough guide to see if I can get any reading from voltage, DC voltage. Is that right? It says 19 volts. Entirely closed, I get 0.4 volts. Okay, now I'm going to open one section up straight up into the air. 16 volts. I find that very hard to believe. That seems awfully high. I like it, but it seems high. 18 volts with two panels. If the difference is so small, then why do we need four panels? Nineteen, almost twenty volts with four panels. Interesting. Okay, so what I've learned is that this device here already has a charge controller in it. So you can go directly from a solar panel straight into input and charge this. Okay, these batteries are dumb, as in they don't have a charge controller. So you could blow up your battery and destroy it by going straight from the charge, the solar panel, to here. Um, it will charge it, but it won't know when to stop. Okay, so... 
I have a charge controller. I converted all of mine to power pole. I made these cables, I stuck them in there, converted these to power pole. Okay, so ideally what you would want to do is take this solar panel and go into a charge controller and it has a little picture of a solar panel right here but you would need to convert this whatever this size is I'll put the if when I find out what it is I'll put it in the description convert that to this and then this would be your battery and this could be this has a picture of a light maybe your load so a charge controller would keep it your battery from overcharging so what I would do is put the battery here And then somehow you would need to convert this to this. And I don't have that now. I wish I had it and then I could do it, but I don't have that.